A scenic river and mountains surround Andong like a folding screen. Here, wooden masks tell of the joys and sorrows of local residents, while fermented soybean paste conveys their warm-hearted nature. Join me on my journey to Andong of North Gyeongsang Province. A three-hour bus ride will take you from Seoul to Andong. Andong's Hahui village is full of old structures that have been preserved in their original form to this day. Here you can learn about the wisdom of ancient architects. This is Andong's number one hotspot. Jiangsung, or totem poles, look scary, but protect the village. You can usually see them at the entrance of any village in Korea. But Hahui Village has more Jiangsung poles than any other place. They command the attention of tourists with their sometimes comic and sometimes scary looks. If you take an unpaved road, you'll come across a village that has remained untouched by civilization. While walking on the unpaved, meandering path, you'll feel as if you were taken a century back by a time machine. Wow, is that straw? Oh yeah, it's a pun. Huh. Chung Hyodang. Oh. Chung Hyodang is the house of the highly revered scholar and military strategist, Ryu Song Ryong. The moment you enter, you feel the energy of the noble family that lived here. When Queen Elizabeth II of Great Britain visited the house in 1999, she was enchanted by its beautiful landscape and called the place wonderful. A special tree stands in the yard. This is the pine tree that Queen Elizabeth II planted when she first came to Korea. It commemorates her visit it looks like it's surviving quite nicely, just like her. I wondered how tall this tree would be the next time I saw it. There's another special tree in this village. Wow! Look at that tree! It protects the village's residents and grants their wishes. Wow, so big. It's like a brontosaurus I used to know. This Zelkova tree is more than six centuries old. Protecting it is the duty of all the village residents. I saw many pieces of paper hanging on a rope around the tree. According to popular belief, the tree grants wishes written on paper and attached to the rope. I also wrote down my wish. Okay, let's find a good place for this. Yeah. Will it be granted? See you, tree. My wishes. Across Hawe Village, there's the 64 meter tall Buyong Day Cliff. It's very easy to climb. Than it looks down below. 
From the top of the cliff, you can see the entire Hahui village and the Nakdonggang River surrounding it in the shape of the letter S. It looks like a lotus floating in water. A boat transports visitors between the village and the cliff when the river is not frozen. The boatman personally propels the boat with oars. You remember these, right? We saw them a little while ago out in the natural environment. Jangsung, or statues, traditional Korean statues with assorted faces. Well, guess what? Now we get to make them with the master. Come on. This place is packed with hundreds of Jangsung poles. They are of various sizes and shapes and have diverse facial expressions. Wow. Huh. What nice color. Huh. The poles are made solely by hand. Let's meet the person who makes them. It's Kim Jong-hun, Korea's important intangible cultural asset. He's made more than 3,000 totem poles so far. They can be seen not only in Korea, but all over the world. Uh, Son Sang Nim, teacher. Uh, yeah, May I try one time? Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I would like to try. Okay. Exquisite techniques are required to make a totem pole. That's more difficult than it seems. <laughs> People believe that totem poles protect villages from evil spirits and disease. The poles are also believed to have the power to grant people's wishes. That's why making totem poles is an awe-inspiring task requiring special attention. Straight, he says. Jungsung poles look sometimes gentle and at other times threatening, depending on the angle from which you look at them. A Jungsung pole is complete only after it's been named. Okay, once again, we're making the name for this Jungsung. And what better name for it than On the Road, since this is the program On the Road. I named my pole On the Road. Who will it protect? Dong is also famous for wooden masks and the traditional mask dance. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. yeah, I can see. <laughs> In ancient times, villagers danced the mask dance to pray for health and abundance. Oh, hey, nice dancing! <laughs> When exiting the village, you'll see Hahui Duenjang Village at the crossroads. A pleasant smell will attract you at the entrance. There are more than 3,000 Jangdok in the village. They are traditional Korean jars. Mm, what's in here? Oh, smell the fermentation. It's going to be delicious. Wow. The jars are full of fermenting soybean paste made according to the traditional recipe. Inside is white mold. 
Duanjiang, or traditional fermented soybean paste, is considered a healthy product. It takes a great deal of time and heartfelt effort to make. Goshigo Tarara, which is a mantra that means sweet and delicious or delicious and sweet. So if you keep saying it to the Danjang, when you put it in, it will be delicious and sweet when you eat it. First, boiled beans are fermented for a long time and put in a jar. Then salty water is poured in. Then peppers, jujubes, and other ingredients are added to determine the taste of the paste. This is charcoal, and we put this in a danjang pot in order to purify it. After adding charcoal and covering the lid, the paste is left to ferment for more than two months. Making fermented pastes is an important task in Korea because they determine the taste of food. Andong's specialty is salted mackerel. There must be a reason fish, and not any other food, is the specialty of this area, which is located far from the sea. With well-roasted salted mackerel and some boiled rice, you won't need any other side dishes. It also matches perfectly with spicy kimchi. In the past, when Andong was an isolated area, fish was a rarity in the city, and fresh mackerel was almost unavailable. To preserve mackerel for a long time, Andong residents had to salt it. That's how the famous salted mackerel was born. This small mackerel kept my chopsticks busy. Awesome. The lights on Andong Dam look beautiful at night. In no time at all, it had become evening. Today, I took a time machine to Andong, South Korea. It's the center for traditional food and masks called Tao. I made one today with the master of Tao makers. It was so fun. I learned a lot about the history of Korea and tradition of Korea. I had such a blast. I hope that my time machine will work next time. Fighting! The good old days seem far behind, but the past is always close to the present. At Andong, you can glimpse the past anytime. I look forward to visiting Andong again to taste its delicious soybean paste.